What's up everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to be solving lead code 242 valid anagram. So we are given two strings S and T, return true if T is an anagram of S and false otherwise. So let's see what does anagram mean. So an anagram is a word or a phrase formed by rearranging the letters of a different word or phrase using all the original letters exactly once. So here we can see uh, we have S equals A and A G R A M and T equals N A G A R A M. So these two words have same alphabets with same frequency. So that's why we uh, return the output as true. And in the second example, you can see R A T, uh, S is R A T, rat, and whereas T is car, we have R and A in T, but S has T and T has C. So which are different set of alphabets, right? So that's why we return false. Okay, so we are going to be solving this uh, problem using hash map approach. So what I will do is I'll create a, another function and I'm going to call this as counter and I'll pass string as an argument. And in this counter function, we will count the occurrence, we'll count the frequency of alphabets of the words. So for, let's do that here. So for character in string, if this character in count, then we can uh, increment the character frequency by one. Else it's the first occurrence. We can do count of char equals one, okay? And now what we can do is we can do s count equals counter and we can pass s and we'll do the same thing for t count. t count equals counter of t. And now we need to compare the alphabets and their frequencies. So what I will do is I'll take a uh, for loop. So for char comma count in s count dot items and we will compare if character is in t count and the count should be equal to whatever the count of the same alphabet in t count as well. So we can say t count of this char, those should be equal. So we will negate this We'll negate this and we'll do not here. And if this is not true, then we can automatically return false. Okay. And we want to do the same thing here. I'll just copy and paste it. We want to do the same thing for T count as well. So T count dot items. So here S count and count should be equal to S count of that character. And we will return false if that is not true. And finally, we can return true. Okay. So this is the uh, code on how to check whether two uh, words are uh, valid anagrams or not. And if I run this, okay, sorry, we have to return here. I forgot to return count. And now let's just run this. Let us submit this. And the solution has been accepted as well. So that's how you solve valid anagram problem. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more.